Kenny Crumpton. Crumpton. We're on a Kenny high. Yeah, he's drawing a crowd right. this morning. Got yeah. some folks behind him. My yeah. goodness gracious. He's, he's going to be autographs signing autographs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys, lots of fun things happening out here at the Van Aken District. It's going to be a lot of fun this weekend. I have a Juneteenth celebration, which is really cool. Uh, it's a Juneteenth celebration that's really showcasing some awesome entrepreneurs that are in the area. And as you can see, we've been showing you guys some really great places all morning long. And then now it's Tanisha's turn. Yeah. Good morning. How yeah. are you? I'm good. How are you? Really cool story. Well, uh, uh, I shouldn't say cool, but an interesting yeah. story on the way this got started. Yeah. Um, your father was uh, diagnosed with? Yes, stage four renal failure. Okay. And then you said, well, if we get better food, yes. maybe that will help. Food is really powerful. Yeah. And it can definitely help us to heal from the inside out. Mm -hmm. So I began to do my own research. Yeah figure out what foods are really good for him mm -hmm. and sat down, talked to him, asked him would he agree to commit to it. He said yes. And within six months, he moved from stage 4.3 yeah. to 3.9. Wow. So it made a difference. Cholesterol went down. Yeah. Blood pressure went down. Wow. Uh, lost weight. Good for you. Yeah. All right. And so then that, and I'm going to do your story yeah. for you. <laughs> so Jim, take a look. So then you were doing meal prep for him. Yes. And then your friends started saying, hey, well, why don't you meal prep for me? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm doing this for my dad. But so People it kind of turned asking. into a business, yeah. right? They kept asking, how much would you charge if you made that for me? Okay. All right. So what do we have over here? So here we have. Because it looks like spaghetti, but it's not. It's not. So it can be used as a pasta replacement. Uh -huh. This is zucchini noodles. Okay. And all I do is I spiralize them. Have to use scissors to cut them. Yeah, your culinary and scissors, yes. Spiralize them. Uh, put some more on that plate. Some yeah. more? Yeah, yeah, put some more on there. Yeah. So you spin, make a spiral and cut. I kind of like that. Yep. Use a little bit of olive oil, massage it just a little, mm -hmm. and put a little salt and pepper, and that's all you need. Okay, and then over here, you're going to top that with. So then we get some of our salmon. And this is salmon. Now, how did you prep the salmon? So we cut it into the cubes before baking. Yeah. Bake it, mm -hmm. and then we put some of our garlic butter on top. So this is very, very healthy. Very healthy, very light, but filling. And then you won a contest here recently. Let's talk about that. You put that right there for Jim. Talk about the contest you won. So yesterday, um, I was blessed to participate in the Urban League's Becoming Bankable Restaurant Accelerator Program. Okay where we spent about 12 weeks learning different tips, tricks, things to um, help us to be in business for the long run. Okay. And at the graduation, they awarded us with $10,000. Okay. Can I borrow 10 bucks? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> soon as the check clears. Soon as the check clears. Soon as it clears. <laughs> and come on in, Felicia. This is awesome. Okay, so make another plate to give. Oh, yes. wait a minute. Tell us about your tea real quick. This is awesome. So this is lavender infused lemonade. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Very light, refreshing, really tastes like summer in a bottle. Summer in a bottle. Mm -hmm. Okay, while you're making the next plate, Felicia, this is what was really important to you guys, just helping um, African-American entrepreneurs take their businesses to the next level, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And our Restaurant Accelerator program is in partnership with PepsiCo. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our restaurants during COVID really oh, took suffered. a hit. Yeah. Yeah. And we just felt like restaurants were a little bit special and unique. Okay. So we put this initiative together for especially for restaurants awesome. and um, caterers. Everything starts uh, this Saturday from 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And Until. there's going to be line dancing, there's going to be poetry, there's going to be a DJ, there's going to be what else? Um, Did I cover everything for you? I think you did. Okay, well, there, there you go. It's <laughs> awesome. And uh, what a great story. What a great story. Oh, Wait spoken word, spoken word. Spoken word. word. Yeah, there you go. This one. is awesome. Well, um, so a big Juneteenth celebration, purchasing with the purchase. I like that. Mm -hmm. You can put that on a t-shirt. We'll get Lily to put it on one of her t-shirts. <laughs> All right, when we come back, we're talking about a great Juneteenth celebration. What an amazing story, Tanisha. Thank you. Awesome. She was nervous for nothing. Oh, for nothing. Oh, oh, my God. All right, back to you guys in the studio. Oh, that was great. That was <laughs> great.